The mission of the Center for Alaskan Coastal Studies is to foster responsible interaction with our natural surroundings and generate knowledge of the unique marine and coastal ecosystems of Kachemak Bay through science-based environmental education and stewardship. I think the Center for Alaskan Coastal Studies is an organization that helps to promote good or good interactions with the environment with everybody, um, school groups, and then people who come up here that are looking to have a good time, and they go over there and they're like, "Yeah, it's gonna be really fun," but we not only like give them a great touristy kind of um, go over there, as in like go to Peterson Bay. Um, we not only give them this great touristy kind of like experience, we also like talk to them and like share with them why they should be like looking at the environment in a different way that they may not have been looking at it before. So, promoting stewardship. Yeah. That it's a really neat place that does a lot of things, a lot of different things, but that they really know how to do tide pooling right. Um, they teach a lot of conservation based exploration and even though we do touch things in the tide pools we do teach people about caring about those organisms by actually poking at them in you know a relatively harmless way so what we do here I feel like connects people to a world they didn't even know existed uh, the Center for Alaskan Coastal Studies does a lot um, sometimes it feels like we do everything, um, but you know, at our root, we are an environmental education organization. Um, and recently, we've had kind of a, a debate about whether it's environmental education or ecology education. But really, it's about sharing the science and the history of this place with other people, in hopes that they will have the sort of aha moments where they connect those disparate pieces of the picture into a better picture of the world around them and that they take that home with them to wherever they're from and they have a better understanding of their place and a stronger connection to their place and a reason for wanting to be stewards of this place and wherever they may call home. The coolest thing about being with Coastal Studies is that you get to show people in a really hands-on way all of the really awesome different animals and plants and just ecosystems that we have here in Ketchum Bay. Yeah, so Spit Kids is a program we do for 6 to 10 year olds and it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, we get a mixture of kids that are in town from out of town and it really kind of every every single time is different. Um, there have been times that there's been one kid, there's been times that we've had 14 kids and so I kind of have a plan but then base it around uh, who shows up and um, some kids come every week, some kids have never been before. We do a lot of self-exploration um, at the beach across the street from here and go out in different um, high and low tides to look for things and um, yesterday we did a beach art contest which was really really cool um, and we go out onto the dock a lot and scoop up jellyfish and look for different creatures just like we do on the dock tours so um, sometimes we do crafts as well but we try to be outside as much as possible so so it's really awesome that the Center for Alaskan Coastal Studies offers this day camp. This is now the second year that they've had kind of a full summer day camp going on. And so it's 10 weeks long and it's Monday to Thursday and it's really a great outlet for kids. We have kids ages 5 to 10 who come here and there's not really another day-to-day -day program that kids can go to unless they just have a general babysitter and it's a great way to get kids outdoors and get them down on the spit, get them at the beach, get them up to the Wind Nature Center and be able to still spend a lot of time with friends or make new friends and just be outside. Yeah, and one of the campers, we were driving the van up to the Nature Center the other day she was talking to me, um, she's about six years old, about how if she didn't have this camp, she'd be inside all day looking outside, wishing she was out there. And so it's cool to be a part of getting them outside in the action and just letting them be kids in the summertime. 
they covered it all really. Um, it's great to be able to give the kids the opportunity to explore Homer and where they grew up. Or where they are going to grow up, I guess. Yeah. And it's not always about, like, we have a set plan every day, but that always changes, mm -hmm. you know? It's about being flexible and making sure the kids are enjoying their day. Our main goal is that they have fun and that they, I guess, learn something, but mainly that they're having fun, so. If they grow up with that okay. association of fun being outside, they're going to have that deeper connection yeah. and love the outdoors yeah. more and want to protect it. Mm -hmm. The Center for Alaskan Coastal Studies has three locations, one being the Wind Nature Center up on the hill, the second being the headquarters building, third being the yurt on the spit, and then fourth, the field station across the bay at Peterson Bay. And we all have our favorite location. I really like um, up at Wind Nature Center, I really like there's this um, kind of overlook thing over into a meadow of like fireweed and I really like that spot where you can just sit and kind of relax and I saw a moose there once it was really pretty. I have fallen in love with Wind Nature Center just because every day I go out and I see something new. Uh, there's three and a half, four miles of trails but every time I go out there's a new plant or a new animal or an animal doing something a little different uh, and just today I saw a cow and a calf out there and that was wonderful so Love all the different places. The yurt, because I get to tell people about what we're doing and why it's so much fun and why like I enjoy it and then I get to kind of be excited about it and like make other people excited about it and get to like I, don't know. I could just sell people on it, but it's not like really I'm selling them on it. I'm just like sharing the enthusiasm with like these people who are coming to Alaska to get a good experience and have fun. And I think what we're doing is really exciting. And I think that what we're doing over at Peterson Bay is something that they should all be involved in and they should come to do. So that's why I like being at the Earth. Um, I like. Nature, that's such a general answer, but I mean nature. Like, I really, really like the coastal, or the, coastal, the creatures of the dock tours, um, because everyone's always surprised about, like, leaning over the edge and how you can see a crazy amount of things that's really weird and you would never see anywhere else. Um, just right off the edge of the dock where all these people are running by and no one ever takes the time, and like, I told the family I'm staying with, about it and they were so confused because how could the Homer docks that they've lived at for 20 some odd years have those things there and they never knew. So that's really cool. Peterson Bay Field Station! I really enjoy Peterson Bay. It has a certain serenity and beauty to it that I feel like no other place in the world that I've seen so far has. And it's constantly changing yet it's always as beautiful as the last time I've seen it. Um, so I don't know what the coolest thing is, but I, I know that every time that I go over to the Pearson Bay Field Station um, and I am sitting on the deck of the field station or around the, around the fire circle and it's the evening time and I'm spending the night, I remember and realize what a unique and beautiful place that is and how special it is. Um, it just really makes me feel at home and really makes me appreciate where I am and I think in some ways that's kind of the coolest thing because it's not necessarily a it's not necessarily a, a thing that I see or do but it's what continually grounds me and what I'm doing and brings me a lot of peace and a lot of happiness. Lots of walk around the world to ease my troubles.